So what is it that you can do? How do we combat this? Well, the first thing, the very first thing that you can do and that we can all do on a regular basis, and it sounds cliche, it sounds corny, but you do have to stop and think about what you are grateful for. You do have to stop and think what you should be thankful for. That should be a daily exercise. Maybe it doesn't actually need to be an exercise. Maybe you can just do it automatically. But if you remind yourself of the things that you are grateful for, it does put things into perspective. If you're not starving, if you have a roof over your head, if you're warm, if you have clothes on your back, if you have transport, if you have people that love you and people that you love, you are already winning. Now we do need to remind ourselves of these things. And unfortunately we do need to take time out to remember. We do actually actively have to work on reminding ourselves about the things that we're grateful for and the things that we're thankful for and the people that we're grateful for and the, and the people that we're thankful for because we do forget, we do ca get caught up in all these crisis and disasters and, and dramatizations of, of things that are going on, current events and, and things in our, our own lives, it's very easy to forget. So that's the first thing you need to do. It can be really, really simple. You can be thankful and are grateful for any numerous amounts of things. People, the things that you saw or something that you heard, a flower, anything, anything. You don't need my help to, to, to start doing it on a regular basis. But if you, if you used to do it, start doing it again or go back onto that wagon. And if you, uh, you have never done it, then absolutely start and see how you feel. As corny as it might be, as cheesy as it might feel to you, if you start it, let me know if you feel better after 30 days of doing it every day, two minutes every day.